know it's the last day it's uh, not quite five in the morning we're getting ready to take the long trek home we're going to go from Volgograd to Moscow Moscow to Helsinki Helsinki to Iceland and Iceland to home I don't know how long it'll take So we got to the Volgograd airport. We, uh, uh, in uh, Russia, you have to actually go through a bag scan before you can get in the building. The train station, the same way. And then uh, when we print out our boarding passes, mine wouldn't print, so we had to stand in the long line. And, and uh, then they weighed everyone's bag, made sure they were not too heavy. And, uh, and then we all got sized and everything else good. But every time we've scanned Andrew's bag, had us open it to search it every time, so there's something there that they're not liking. But since they are not speaking English, we don't know what it is. But and like it's just full of souvenirs. Yeah. yeah, it's just full of souvenirs. Everything's in one bag. So, anyways, we're at the gate though, waiting to get shelled out of the plane. So, our plane from Volgograd leaves at 6:55 and arrives in Moscow at 7:50. Hour and fifty five minute flight. This is the Comrade Airfield during World War II. This was a German airfield, and now it's a Russian one. Seven thirty-three. Our next plane doesn't leave until I think it's ten forty, and we're going to the international transfer area because we just arrived in Terminal B and we're going to Terminal D. Signs are well marked, and in English it's easy to figure out where you're going. I kind of want to call this a crap show, but uh, it's still better than the American stuff. But um, We've had some funny problems getting out here. My boarding pass wouldn't print in Volgograd. We get here and none of our boarding passes would print. And then the line we got in was the shortest line for passport control. And then we found out why, because every single disabled person or kid gets put in front or old and person. ran through or old person. So it took us a long time, but we got through. We still got an hour and a half for our flight. So we're gonna get some breakfast. Now we're gonna get the train to Terminal D. This one just left, but we'll take the next one when it comes. Was it getting off the plane in Finland and getting to the transfer station? It was pretty easy except for pulling this heavy bag around. Huh? So Helsinki Airport, the only problem we had was uh, when we first got off the plane from Moscow, Stacy's boarding pass wouldn't let her in at the one gate to get across to the planes, but passport control, there was like nobody in line and walking through, it wasn't crowded, uh, except for a plane being delayed going to Reykjavik. It uh, has been uh, probably the easiest of all the airports. Getting through security was easy, everything was easy. I don't know why we're getting on this plane when we're flying Iceland.
Atlantic Air. Only had to wait in the bus for like 20 minutes. I'm not sure what happened, but this is not the plane I'm supposed to be on. This is a huge plane. Um, but we're way late. They're still trying to load this plane up. Someone said that our plane had to be taken down. It couldn't fly anymore. Uh, that's all I heard. So it's uh, pretty much a crap show right now. <laughs> trying to get everybody on, get everything situated, and people's seats are in different spots. So kind of interesting. Yeah, we're on a bus for our, it must have been 20 minutes just yeah. waiting. They were way late, but they said we only have a short layover. And, Reykjavik, but they uh, said we promise every connection is going to be made, so oh, too funny. we'll probably hold planes, I guess. Oh, hi. Anyways, well, that's all I know. After two hours, we finally are pulling away from the gate in Helsinki, Denmark. I was supposed to leave two hours ago, so we don't know what's going to happen when we get to um, Iceland. another hiccup at the end so uh, the plane we were supposed to get on Helsinki from Helsinki to Iceland uh, broke apparently and we uh, so they had to rent a plane from another company and to get that plane ready it took two hours needless to say there's only two flights a day that go from Iceland to Seattle and they're both within half an hour of each other so needless to say we missed both those flights so, at the expense of Iceland Air, we're spending another night in Iceland, 